Returning back today, we see that South Dakota U.S. Center Mike Grounds, along with North Dakota's Kevin Kramer and John Hoven, have introduced the Landowner Easement Rights Act in Congress. The bill will prohibit the Department of Interior's U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service from entering into a conservation easement with a term of more than 50 years. It will also give owners of existing easements the option to renegotiate, renew, or buy out of their contract. Senator Rounds said that by ending the practice of permanent, non-transparent easements, the bill will make certain the power is with farmers, ranchers, and other landowners across the nation and not with federal bureaucrats. Companion legislation was introduced in the House earlier this year. And finally today, USDA has announced the establishment of a program under the American Rescue Plan to expand rural hospitals while also helping rural health care providers stay financially solvent in the long term. The initial awards of the emergency rural health care grants total $43 million and will benefit some 2.2 million people who live and work in rural America. Awardees include 93 rural health care organizations and community groups across 22 states, including Montana. U.S. Senators Tester and Danes, along with Congressman Rosendale, work to secure funding for two Montana communities, which include the Prairie County Hospital District that will receive over a half million dollars that will be used to increase the size and improve the function of the hospital's emergency department. And finally, Powder River County was allocated over $120,000 that will be used to purchase two ambulances and related equipment for Powder River County. That's today's Farm and Ranch News.